dear friends now we have to discuss about radioactive disintegration series it actually represents a series of changes that happen due to the instability of the nuclei naturally each and every unstable system has a tendency to get stability by itself undergoing some changes the same thing can happen in the case of unstable nuclei also generally lead is found to be the stablest nuclei with atomic number 82 and mass number 208 beyond the lead almost all elements are found to be unstable and are radioactive so this radioactive elements or unstable nuclei can have the capacity to emit alpha and beta particles during which they will change to another element that we have seen in one of the previous classes when alpha is emitted it goes to position left in the periodic table and by emitting beta particles it can go one position right to the parent element in periodic table during such transition element changes and this process continues until it become a stable one that means lead the whole process are collectively we called radioactive disintegration series the unstable radioactive nuclei emit alpha and beta particles until a stable element is formed the series of radioactive changes starting from initial radioactive element to final stable element is called radioactive disintegration series this this sentence you have to keep in mind for your examination whole the series of processes which take an unstable nucleus to a stable nucleus is called radioactive disintegration series so far we have three natural series and one artificial series all the naturally occurring radioactive elements above atomic number 82 that is lead belongs to one of the three radioactive disintegration series 4n 4n plus 2 and 4n plus 3 these are three series for natural elements and in addition to these three natural elements natural series we have one more series for artificial elements that is 4n plus 1 so we have 4n 4n plus 1 4n plus 2 and 4n plus 3 totally among these four first third and fourth are natural series and the second one is artificial series now some characteristics of the series can be seen in this table three natural series are given in the table on the left upper corner where first is thorium series that is foreign series start with thorium and final element is lead during its transition from thorium 232 to lead 208 we have six alpha particles and four beta particles to be emitted in the same way uranium series that is 4n plus 2 not 4n plus 1 after 4n we have 4n plus 2 in natural series 4n plus 1 is there but that is artificial series uranium series start with uranium 238 and end element is lead 206 here 208 here we have 206 another isotope of the lead here 8 and 6 alpha beta respectively emitted in actinium series that is 4n plus 3 series uranium 235 is the first element and it continues the disintegration process until it reach lead 207 during this process they have to emit seven alpha and four beta particles in addition to this three naturally occurring series as we have 4n plus 1 as the artificial series which has the parent element neptunium 237 atomic number 93 and the process continues until it reach bismuth 209 that is the end element in the nat artificial series 
so we can say that all, all the natural series end up with lead while artificial series end in bismuth during this transition from neptunium to bismuth they have to emit seven alpha and four beta particles for example one series i have given here that is uranium series two four and plus two series you can see what happened in radioactive disintegration in this is not uranium series i think it is actinium series actinium series whose first element is uranium 235 that you can see here uranium 235 first emit an alpha then atomic number decreases by 2 unit and mass number by 4 unit this is 231 and this is to uh, sorry 90 when beta is emitted when beta particle is emitted atomic number increases by 1 unit without any change in mass number again 90 changes to 91 that is protactinium after that one alpha particle is emitted again decrease in 2 units actinium here decrease of 4 unit 227 that is actinium from where two possible ways are there either alpha emitted first then beta otherwise beta can be emitted first then alpha anyway actinium changes to radium then again emit alpha then 88 decreases to 86 that is radon 223 decreases by 4 unit to 219 again one more alpha then again decreases by 2 unit to 84 again 4 unit decrease in mass number to 215 again alpha particles emitted again decreases by 2 unit lead it to 211 lead is stable but lead 211 is not stable so again one beta particle is emitted to bismuth 83 211 then again this kind of a possibility is there either this way or this way first alpha then beta or beta then alpha anyway it changes to lead 207 hold this process is combinedly known as radioactive disintegration series or actinium series you don't want to by heart these elements this is just for an example i have shown that here uh, 7 alpha and 4 beta particles is emitted you can count alpha and beta particles in this picture to know the uh, to get the number of alpha and beta when we go to count the alpha and beta particles we have seven alpha here seven alpha you have to count it one alpha two alpha three alpha four alpha five alpha six alpha seven alpha that is seven alpha now you have to expect for beta where is beta this is first beta this is second beta here we are counting this way so you don't go through this way first beta second beta third beta and fourth beta that is four beta particles this kind of arrangement of elements is called radioactive disintegration series now we have to see the significance of 4n 4n plus 1 4n plus 2 etc when the mass number of any element in that series any element in that series divided by 4 if there is no balance is there that belongs to 4 and series balance is 0 when we divide the mass number of a particular series if you get 1 as the balance then that belongs to 4 and plus 1 series 2 balance then 4 and plus 2 series 3 balance that belongs to 4 and plus 3 for example 232 thorium 232 4 we will get 58 without any balance so balance is 0 so it belongs to 4 and series then 238 uranium 238 belongs to 4 and plus 2 series because 
238 cannot be completely divided by 4. If you take 238, suppose we are dividing 238 to 38 by 4, what will be the answer? 2 38 by 4, 5 4 are 20, balance is 3, then 38 cannot be completely divided by 4, we will get 9 4 are 36, then balance is 2. So, we will get when we divide that mass number by 4, we will get balance 2. So, it belongs to 4 and plus 2 series. Here you will get a balance of 3. Note the first element and last element of all the elements in that series. In uranium 235, here you will get balance 3. So, for, uh, you have to consider 227. 227 by 4. 2, 27 by 4. Again, 20, 2, 7. 6 fours are 24 and balance is 3. So, this element belongs to 4 and plus 3 series. So, all the elements in that series from first element to last element will give the balance of 3. This is the criterion for giving 4 and 4 and plus 1, 4 and plus 2, 4 and plus 3 as the name of the series as in addition to the thorium, uranium, actinium and neptunium series. They have the general name like that also. With this we come to the end of radioactive disintegration series. Thank you friends.